Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel. It is a blessing to have you back here. I'm going to get into your bonus read. I just got done doing your mini one and I'll be doing your mega one after this, okay? But this is your bonus. Oh boy, you already know you're a diamond, okay? You already know how special and how of a sweet soul that you are. So let's go ahead and shine precious and bright like a diamond. Also, my darlings, please make a note that if this reading does not resonate to your situation, please do not get hurt, offended, or in your feelings. It only means that the reading is not for you today. However, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. And turn on your post notifications so that way you will always be the first to be notified each and every single time that I do upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up for me. Um, Aries because once you thumbs up the videos YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push those videos out into a much wider audience the channel will grow the video will also grow for all my returning seekers know that I love you guys so 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 much thank you for the love and support that you show here on the channel I do see the love y'all and believe me the love is not going unnoticed now please make a friendly note that the card has been shuffled, the card has been blessed, but before I get into the reading of prayers, unless we do pray here in the channel, I'm going to get into a quick prayer and then we jump right into your reading. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I said you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as the best, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise that you say in prayer. Amen. All right, y'all. Take from this reading what resonate. Whatever did not resonate, just leave the rest. Uh, because of the general reading, you can pick up your person, energy, past, present, or future person. I could be saying he, she, whatever. Just take what resonates to you. Now, it could go for the cross watchers who are watching. And if you do need a personal reading, y'all, just go ahead and check the description part of this video and you'll see exactly how to connect with me to have a personal reading done. All right, angels, let's get to work, please. Let's get to work for Aries. What is the present energy? What's the present energy here? All right. Let's see. Oh, the present energy. Oh, okay. All right. Two, four, six. Okay, perfect. All right. So, Aries, what came through um, for you with these messages is that... You need to be in the light, okay? Be in the light, stay in the light. Now, this light is calling or pulling in your finances here. I think I did pick your finances up in your mini read that I just got done doing. But just be on the straight and narrow with your finances because you do not need to squander money at this particular moment. You need to be saving as much as you can here. Um, your garden angels is helping you to do this. Uh, you're not alone, okay? Just know that you're definitely not alone here. You do have a guardian angel that is protecting over you and hovering over you to make sure that your finances stay in order here. But just please remain to be the light, okay? Ooh, that was a confirmation there. Now, I'm also getting, a, hmm, hold the space. For some reason, angels are giving me how to hold the space. For some of you, you need to hold the authority here. Okay? It is needed. You're holding the space. Holding the space simply is telling me that you do not need to say something and not come through with it. You do not need to start something and not complete nor finish. Holding your space, holding the authority, holding what you know you truly want. Okay. As far as making your decisions here, it is critical that you hold your space once you decide to make this decision. Once you decide to make this decision set in place here, you'll have to hold your space, okay? Um, I'm also getting high priestess here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is awesome. Now, the high priestess is one of the most powerful cards that's in the deck here, and that is you at this particular moment. You're the high priestess coming in through harnessed to harness uh, your mystic power. Because harnessing your mystic power is going to have you be the light. It's going to have you um, not feeling alone here. And it's going to have you manifesting what it is that you truly need here, okay? Now, the Lord is coming through. And this is another powerful card that is in that, that came through for you. These are awesome cards. 
all some messages that you're getting right now, um, Aries, where you need to know to take charge and authority. You're going to have to take charge and authority. Now, this and this goes hand to hand because you've taken the charge and authority is you because you are, in fact, the high priestess here. You've just forgotten about your crown here, Aries. And you have gotten to place your crown where your crown needs to be sitting for the world to see. Once you decide to hold your space, you will be able to balance your life. And you will be able to maintain your crown on your head without distraction or without your crown falling off, okay? Now, angels are saying that you need to dream and journey. So once you put the plan in place, you set the plan in place, you keep it moving, you keep it pushing. Do not look to the side and do not look to the back. Keep looking forward, keep moving forward and track down your fears and desires here. Be a hunter, okay? Track down your fears, track down your, your um, desires here for what is it that you want. Hey, if you need to be a warrior, be a warrior because you are, because you are the high priestess, right? That is what you are. So if you need to be a warrior, be a warrior. But just be sure that you be fearless and stand strong without distraction, right? It just says it's critical um, for your forward movement here, moving forward, because you have definitely been held back and been set back here. I'm going to go ahead and pull some messages here for you using the tarot <coughs> and see what um, basically comes through. All right, angels, let me have some clarity on these cards, please. On these messages. What is the present energy? Uh, what is that you need me to share uh, with Aries, please? What is the message? Please tell me more. Please tell me more. What is the present energy here? What's the present energy? What's the present energy here? What's the present energy? Okay, so what I'm getting here, okay, is the Five of Swords in here. Um, I did get the Magician in your present, and we'll talk about the Magician being here in your present situation, all right? But what you didn't see coming, though, um, was a Lover's Card being here in the back of the deck. The Lover's Card being here um, is having me, know, uh, having me share with you that there's def definitely some kind of a temptation that is coming through. This lover's card is telling me that there may be a third situation that's called, always want to present itself here. Now, I do feel like you have a twin flame or with connection with this situation or this person that you have connected with has a connection with another person out there that feels like a twin flame kind of a connection. Just know that it is definitely a passion one, okay? So you're either having passion or feeling passion towards this person or they're feeling a passion with uh, towards the person out there okay now because of this lover's card coming through i do feel a sense of maybe someone feels disappointed or i feel disappointment here maybe you feel sidetracked here or then this side this side attracted or a feeling that you're feeling a sense of disappointment is definitely one that comes with some form of a betrayal of some sort i feel like someone maybe had ended ended something here put an end to something but someone feels like more like it was a loss. Maybe you started to build some kind of attachment or maybe there was some kind of attachment that was built. Uh, yeah, because someone was trying to work together with this four of wands. This four of wands being in the reverse here, someone abandoned their marriage. All right. So if you weren't married to this person because the lover's card is here. Okay. It's telling me this person, what you were either their twin flame or they have found a twin flame elsewhere. Because the four of wands is here in the upright. Someone abandoned their marriage here. Now there's a situation that feels like it's falling apart here. And it's not only falling apart, but there's a lot of conflicts that surround in this entire, entire situation that feels like it's falling apart. Now I do feel like um, with this judgment card being here, there's definitely a decision that has to be made here. Um, this decision that needs to be made 
has not yet been made. And the reason why I feel like it has not been made, I feel like someone is having a hard time letting go here, okay? And because you're having a hard time letting go with this judgment, angels are setting in and angels are coming in to make sure that a decision is, is made on their on their on their clock, on their watch, okay? Now, this disappointment here is a very strong one because someone that chose to maybe wait, wait it out, but it didn't go accordingly. So it's falling into disappointment. This is what this three of wands is doing in the upright. Now, I do feel like you're about to move on or you're in the process of moving on or someone is about to move on here, right? Because you're tired of uh, waiting, playing the waiting game here. But just know here, with this uh, nine of cups that came up, it did show up in the upright as well, okay? This person right now know that they are about to lose you because you're done waiting. You don't want to wait anymore. You don't want to stick around anymore. You don't want to be bothered anymore. You're tired, okay? So now you're ready to step, all right? Whether you're deciding to step or angels are making or making sure that you step, you're about to step, okay? So now I see disappointment coming to now I see they're ready. They know that they're ready to lose you and they don't want it to happen. But the thing is, the magician is here, okay? The magician is here in your present state, in his present form. And the magician being here is having me know that you are about or you want to manifest in your life. You want to manifest in your life. You're wanting really to manifest in your love with your person and this love is card being here. But someone right now is choosing to not doing what a relationship is really meant to do here. So now you're about to kick it into high gear, which is moving forward here um, and setting your life in stone. Angels did say that you need to track down your affairs. Track down your affairs and desires. Here's what they had said earlier, okay? So there's definitely no getting across this bridge here without tracking down your affairs here because you are the high priestess and high priestess is a person who harnesses a magic power, okay? Just like the magician does. You have the power to change things and to make things into the way that you would want it here. Simply by harvesting um, manifestation and spiritualization towards your energy. So that, that way you will ordain what it is that you really truly need, a sense of happiness here. What is the present energy here? What is the present energy? Right. All right, let's see what's coming through, y'all. Okay. All right, so the strength card is here. That's awesome. The king of swords, the devil's card is here. The, the king of pentacles in the upright. Now, your strength card is simply validating what I've been saying all along, okay? You have to fix the conflicts that got you here in the first place, right? Gather your confidence and your strength to fix those conflicts and do what you got to do moving forward, right? Now, with the King of Swords being here, though, I feel like this King of Swords is one that wants to take the authority, um, wants to take the law, wants to make sure things is according to how they want it to be. But someone needs to wear their crown. So either you're going to allow this King of Swords to wear their crown or you're about to take the authority to be the high priestess here, okay? And do what you got to do. Now, I feel like you have been connected to this person for some time here. And this person has been connected to you as well. But there's a situation right now that is calling for a decision. Okay? And it's calling for that. And it's really needing to get into set. Because this devil card is here. Now, I do feel like... <laughs> Remember we talked about someone being married. I do feel like maybe this person is either married to someone else because this card has showed up here. And I do feel like this there may be some drugs that's involved. Uh, there may be some, uh, some kind of addiction that's here. There may even be uh, some kind of a toxic vibe here. But there's a, a situation here that's connected itself um, to something else here, okay? Something is definitely connected in the finest way here. Now, with the King of Pentacles being here, also and sitting right next to the Devil's card here, that is um, telling me uh, that uh, this person here 
they like to argue. And it's, it's like they cannot resist the fact that they like to argue simply because this addiction has kind of taken over. And addiction is an addiction, okay? You don't have any control over where this addiction takes you when you're on drugs, whatever, whatever it is, drugs, drugs, or whatever it's drinking, or whether it's pills, whatever, whatever it is. Um, an addiction is, is simply an addiction. But I do feel a sense of there's some kind of a weakness that's coming through. And it's coming through the lover's card. And it's coming through the devil's card. And it's coming through the king of pentacles in the upright. I do feel like there's a, some kind of a ugliness or maybe a feeling of a corrupt or, or being corrupted. That is all coming through here, okay? So this person is definitely um, needing some kind of healing or some kind of a guidance here. But you are not able to save this person, okay? You're going to have to take charge. You're going to have to take take charge. Um, definitely with authority here, okay? Is what you're going to have to do. You will have to take charge with the authority. And angels are saying that there's no other way but taking this charge here. Um, because someone has lost their sense of control over there. Now, with their energy coming towards yours, they definitely have you feeling like you have also lost the control here. But the blind can't lead the blind here in no way, shape, or form. What is the present energy here, please, angels? The Knight of Wands. What's the present energy? The Queen of Wands in the reverse. <coughs> What's the present energy? Please send me more angels. Please send me more. What's the present energy? The nine of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So the knight of wands that's here. Um, I feel like for some of you, um, this person will want to try again with you. Even though the situation is what the situation is. And it feels more like a very unhealthy kind of a toxic type of a relationship at this present moment. But this person wants to try again simply because they feel like they're about to lose you, okay? So they're coming in as I want to try again. Now, like I, I picked up before, this person is really a very young energy at heart. They have the, the, the feel, the vibe, the strength to come back towards you, but you're going to be tapping into your strength to fix whatever you can fix and gather your confidence towards this night of ones when they come in to approach you. Now, I do see this person coming in as one that has ego or being with an ego type of an energy here within themselves um, because the queen of wands is here in the upright. Now, this person seems to be very cold towards you at time. Even though they're giving you some kind of a indication that they are coming towards you or they're about to lose you, they're still coming towards you with this ego and they're still coming towards you as if um, they can be sweet today, warm, cold tomorrow, and sour. If that makes any sense, Aries, okay? Now, I do feel de deception, okay? I'm getting deception, I'm getting deception, I'm getting deception and deception. So, you have to be very careful about this night, this, uh, this nine of pentacles, in the upright because it says deception i feel deception coming in through here um i do feel like for some of you um your money is definitely not going right you're definitely finding yourself in a bind here and this bind is something that you'll definitely have to change because the king of pentacles is also in the upright and the nine of pentacles is also in the upright here so you definitely have to start um working um, on yourself, on your goals, on your achievements here, on your success. I do feel a sense of bad faith. So maybe you might have tried something in your past. Um, as far as money was concerned, maybe you decided to start a business that didn't go right. Or maybe you uh, uh, needed to take a raise that didn't go right. But I do feel uh, for some of you, it's definitely a way, uh, there's some kind of an, um, excessive spending that you might have been doing. Or maybe just having bad energy around you and it's definitely took its toll on your finances, you know. 
Maybe you're taking care of people that don't need to be taken care of. It's kind of eating out your money, your savings here. But I do feel a uh, deception here. Deception has been having me feel like someone either lied to you, tricked you, conned you or something. Gave you bad, bad, um, kind of gave you some promises, but it was bad, okay? Um, and having you think otherwise, that's deception here. And now your money is not going right. And I feel this person is definitely not there, even though their indication is coming back in. For whatever reason, they're coming back in towards you um, to try again, right? Is what I'm feeling. Uh, but I do feel like you're going to have to definitely figure some things out as far as this person coming in. Because um, this is your life. Your life is your time and your time is, in fact, your life. But whatever decision that you decide, whatever decision that you decide to, to make here, even though angels are already working on that decision because you've been, you've been not able to concrete your decision. Your mouth says one thing, but you feel like you tend to do something else, Aries. Angels are definitely walked in here to make sure that the decision is made and that is set in stone here. Um, even though they're saying that you need to take the authority being a high priestess here, harness your mystic power. Okay. Honest in your mystic power is what you need to be doing here, but they're definitely going to be making sure that all decisions go through them. And once it goes through them, they will definitely be the one to make sure that it sticks. All right. Now that is going to be your bonus read for tonight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do your mega after this one in a very comfortable settings um, and just see where Angel takes it. Uh, but anywho, like, share, subscribe if you have not. Um, make sure that you put your prayer requests in the comment section. Your initials is fine. And if you need a friend or family members or whatever that you need that you think that that might need prayer, just leave their initials there as well. Even for your person's energy, please put them there as well because prayer does go a far way. Please keep me in your prayer too, my darlings, um, because prayer does make me stronger. Um, and just remember to combine your prayer with, with fasting because it generates massive power towards you, okay? And also... Never forget to seek first and you always find.